Hey, everybody. <coughs> this is the best Jack 99, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Last episode, well, let's just say we are too strong. Just, just couldn't be helped, man. Gohan and Vegeta are just too strong. They're destroying these quests. We freaking blew up the planet to stop Boo. You know what I mean. Alright, uh... You know, hold up quick. Alright. Sorry about the hold up there. Uh, let's get started. Uh, I love what these get. Yep. Just turn level 85 right there. This fruit looks rather nice. Easy Last episode, video did say something. Uh, he felt really bad for what happened to Gohan. Well, let's start this up then. That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. I think he blew it from the inside oh, out. Blast the anime. It. Maybe the manga the too. Going on? Hey there. Vegeta, <laughs> what have you done? I don't recall telling you to destroy my ship. <laughs> Imagine that. Hey, Vegeta, so that, can you that destroy that my ship real quick? The ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You. <laughs> you killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan. Ugly mug? No. What's that? What mean it that? Means he thinks you have a strange face. <laughs> <laughs> now, Boo, angry! I'm not going to hell. Yeah, like at this point, Vegeta is just uh. I'm taking you all with me. It's, 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 it's weird to hear a city go on like that. Uh, just, just sorrow and stuff. All right, though, this Majin Buu versus Majin, Majin Vegeta. It's a pretty good fight. I like it, but uh, he's facing again. Oh, I didn't think that one shot him. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't one shot me. I destroyed Boo in the, in the game, but I lost the cuts. He destroyed me in the cutscene. What's that? Just now! Majin Boo needs to be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this bobbity. This this can be They really don't want to show like any dismemberment or anything like that in this series, huh? I guess that Makes sense. Well, uh, Piccolo's little fight with Bobby, I don't know. It's just cool to see, like, Bobby's little magic and attacks. Most of this fight was just Vegeta pounding Majin Buu, and then Buu did this attack, obviously. And he, like, wrapped Vegeta up in his, like, body. Like, trunks to do that. Which is always nice to Are you see. Okay, Vegeta? Dad, hang in there! Trunks. My son. <laughs> Drunks, my son, take good care of your mom for me. W what are you talking about? Dad? Yeah, at this point, Vegeta's kind of just regretted everything he's. Mom? Kind of done at this point. As far away from here as you can. He wants to make I'm sure Trunks lives in. Go tell as well. No way! We're gonna fight too. The three of us can take him down for sure. Trunks, <laughs> I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? Come here, son. Uh, Give your daddy a hug. Dad. What are you 
doing, Dad? Cut it out! Infinite, You're embarrassing the me! Famous scene. It's nice to see Vegeta do something like this, like, extreme circumstances, but... Huh? Watching Vegeta has really caused Vegeta to change. Why do you... He cares about Why Trunks. Do remember, like, when he said he... Remember back in Cell Saga when he wanted to kill... Didn't even give a shit about Trunks if he died? <laughs> Little sucker punch. Not a sucker punch, I get a punch. Imagine Pickle's like, Vegeta, why'd you do that? Knocked him out, too. I'm counting on you're prepared to die, aren't you? This is a powerful moment for Vegeta. Thing. It's one of the sad... A lot of the fans find this die, scene sad, too. And I'm sure, like... To see this is probably one of the, the other world? best deaths Dragon Ball Z's done. I'm afraid not. You've in the series. You've too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body. And your soul will be carried off to a different world. Too bad. Even well, hearing that, Vegeta yeah, still has his mind set. Hurry. It's really respectable. It's how much he's changed. No! Not just Maj and Vegeta. Wait, not just Maj and accents Boo. caused. You're going to have to defeat I me first. Wanted to be like this, but you got that? Fight me, you brain dead balloon! <laughs> brain dead balloon. <laughs> I finally know how to get rid of you. Let's see how good this scene looks. Wow. That that looks really nice. What is Vegeta doing? He's going to get himself killed. For the first time ever, he's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. Yeah. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces! Huh? Uh -huh. Huh. Farewell, Bulma. Trunks. Yes, then you cannot. Probably the best self-destruct sequence to just uh, if only B Majin Buu was killed here. But then, like, where would the show have gone from there, though? At this point, it, it would have been nice if Vegeta killed Buu here. And this part just always just made me a little sad, just seeing Vegeta as just a husk, S stone, or whatever that is, falling apart. I know in the, and yeah, he was up in the sky and just crumbled to pieces. Just seeing, there goes Vegeta. It's here. Take these two. It, it was honestly sad that to happen. see that happen. Like even Death in Dragon Ball series isn't like okay. that big of a deal, but sometimes like <laughs> dinosaur back over there. But sometimes it can be really impactful. There's only a few deaths where. The impactful scene applies. Like, I see. Well, I guess the most of the deaths in Dragon Ball Z small amount of damage. have been uh, cells can regenerate. pretty good and sad. At least to prevent that, thinking about Vegeta it. Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. Is that really a trillion, Piccolo? How? You're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. How would Bobbity survive this explosion? Like, in the anime, like he was kind of like an old crater, so maybe like that crater provided him cover of some sort. But like he was literally in the same level. How is he alive? Don't tell me Majin Buu's fragments. They're. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Majin Buu is still alive! No! Uh, 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 hurry up and heal me! Uh. 
Oh, what are you waiting for? Do you want me to seal you up again? Yeah! Oh, this Boo just has the heal beam. Good. Well done, I kind of forget Boo has that. He's using on Bobbity, Mr. Satan. Those two runs have messed with me the dog. for the last time. They will learn to fear the great really that much. and Martin Boo. <clears throat> this planet to a desolate hellscape, Martin Boo. Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding. Majin Buu's still alive? Not what? Dead? Majin Buu's not dead? Uh, no way. Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing? It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout right now. These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. Uh, that's definitely true. The only time Trunks and Goten are very impactful. Then Super, like, what's one thing Kid Trunks and Kid Goten done? Very little things, if any. Which is unfortunate, because I always like Trunks and Goten. But I just never did anything in... In a Super. At least in GT, they had something going for them. Meanwhile, Goku's just sleeping on the ground. Ow! I can sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no, I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay. They should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? Akami's lookout, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, this was kind of the point of the series where, like, uh... Vegeta got owned, Gohan got owned, so you're just like, oh shit, who's gonna beat Majin Buu here? Goku, do Goku doesn't have that long, so like, it really is gonna like depend on Trunks and Goten, which would have been cool. I guess Trunks and Goten and, you know, Gohan's obviously still alive, so like, I think if... I can still go out and do stuff, but... Uh, what am I doing? Let me see what Goku has real quick. Super Saiyan 2. Hmm. Soon you can learn move. This might be dumb. I think Goku really needs these upgrades that everyone else has, so... I'm gonna do something real quick. If this is, if this is pretty much nothing, then I'll just, uh, I'll cut, I'll cut, real quick. Cause I wanna, I wanna give Goku the gravity training, or you know what I'm talking about, because he's the only one that doesn't have that yet. So if I can't do it, then I'll just cut, and we'll be at uh, Kai's lookout. So uh, let's see. Okay, that load time is fast. No, fortunately not. Well, I thought the loading time would be s longer, so I don't think we'll cut it. I don't think we'll cut it. You don't need to. Yeah! 
Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, I guess Goku hasn't really seen Majin Buu yet. Whoa. That hair go when Goku's flying backwards looks <laughs> really strange. What is that? You're alive! I have to go back and yeah, see that hey, because that sounded you sus too. What's going on. What? Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme yeah. Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. Majin Buu's power. It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not Pretty all hope much, is lost. Yeah. We've still got you, Goku. If anyone can beat Majin Buu, then it's you. I'll be honest. That's not gonna happen. I can't beat him. Uh? Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu, he had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. <laughs> really? Wow. Man, this stinks! That's really weird, though. If either Gohan like, or, or Vegeta were still thing, alive. So... We might have had a real chance to do something. Good fight something. against him, but who knows? I don't think so. He'd actually win or not? No, we're gonna need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? How's this gonna work in the game? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a metamoron I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. <sighs> now it makes sense. I think I understand. Or so they you say. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta. If one of them was alive, you'd form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. But fortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. So, this is the worst case scenario, isn't it? Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside. And they are about the same size and strength. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, that's a great idea, Mr. Popo! Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm gonna do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's gonna take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good. There's hope for us yet! Those kids might be able to pull this off! Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something well, others don't sure. have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot, but we've got no other choice. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. What's going on? What the? It got dark all of a sudden. Wait, is that? Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but oh who? yeah. Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course. Yeah, that's right. Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament. They come back Bulma only to be killed Shenron again. To bring them all back. Oh no! If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another three. year. Three. I'll go try to stop her. Just as Goku had predicted, Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron. 
to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The oh, first be wish killed again. had already been granted, but Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. That's a mistake. They only had Shenron two wishes back then. Disappeared, and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Goku then warped the confused group to Kami's lookout, where they would then all be safe from Majin Buu's onslaught. At this point on in a while, everyone's pretty much just at Kami's lookout. It's the cool place to be. <laughs> Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Balls. I, I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. But oh, I still was alive. I brought back to life? How can that be? What's going on? Where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Yeah, you kind of forget that Supreme wish. Kai. That's kind of impactful. Supreme Kai. You. I even forgot about that again. Thank goodness. I wasn't too late. He wasn't killed by Vegeta. Uh, uh, they worded as like, I wish everyone what are you was doing bad. Here? back to life. Uh, I saw you die. You were blown to pieces! Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to come back. That's right! Kibito, we have to hurry! Gohan's in danger! Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs! <clears throat> it looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare! Thank goodness. Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais. Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? Yes, now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. R right. Uh, oh. Kai Kai. Hmm. Oh wow, this place looks nice. Huh? What? What the? Huh? Uh, where am I? This is the land of the Kais, our home world. Wait, what? Your home world? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Wait. <laughs> I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Unfortunately, no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh, why am I here? We hope you'll be able to use the Z-Sword to defeat Majin Buu. The Z-Sword. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Huh? The... The sword? Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any so rate, lovely. we should at least try. Come with me. Am I gonna have free reign over in this world? <clears throat> You'll need some more suitable clothes. Oh. <laughs> Another go on out for change. Huh. Kabito and I are wearing matching outfits. It's kinda embarrassing. <laughs> okay, cool. I like this. Alright, I said last episode that I'd make this episode long, but I'll next episode I'll make sure it's a bit more longer. So uh this has been uh the best check 99 and next episode.
We shall investigate the Sea Sword and some more nonsense and so, good fights this on is our the way. Land of the Kais. There's not much here. That's right, go on. It still kind of reminds me of Earth. See you guys.